Oh, Bloodlines. If you don't know, Bloodlines was a paid access Roblox Naruto game that came out July of 2022. Paid access. I will get back to that point. The game had clans and you would spawn in as one of those clans like Uchiha, Uzumaki, Zetsu, or Hoshigaki, to name a few, and there were a couple more clans. And then you would go around progressing your character, learning new weapon styles and jutsus. This game had a lot of potential and now it currently sits at around like 80 players a day, and honestly I feel like it's just sad. Arkham, Arkham Man. Look, I know you saw my last video, and if you see this one, this isn't personal, although it is a little bit. I liked the game at the time, but I hate some aspects of it, so now I'm gonna dog on you for the next couple minutes. Over the course of Bloodlines, it only received three measly updates. One was update one that dropped after being delayed by almost three weeks, and it came out August 11th, I think. It basically catered to nobody, only with Uzumaki's getting a mode and Zetsu's getting some progression. And people by this point, because the three weeks already passed, no one was really being able to do anything on the game because it was getting boring, and people started calling this update one update 0.5 and calling it mid. This is what marked and I think started the downward trend for Bloodlines. And along with Arkham talking about promising shorter updates, problems just started to begin. Update 2. Update 2 came out October 14th, two months after Update 1. This was honestly the update that I, in my opinion would make or break the game. And it dropped with Sasuke Mongekyo Sharingan variant, Itachi and Obito Eternal Mongekyo Sharingan, a new Aburame clan, a new Otsutsuki clan, and a butterfly mode for Akamichis. That might sound like a lot on paper, and there were a couple more additions, but those are the main things that were added in the update. For starters, Itachi and Obito Eternal Mongekyo Sharingan were relatively easy to get. All you had to do was just extract your Mongekyo eyes that you already had and then re-implant them, and then you would get EMS, so that was it for Uchiha's, which is fine because Uchiha's already had their, a lot of progression anyways. Obito EMS was trash with the intangibility lasting for far too little, and to this day, people were still making and asking for reworks. Sasuke Mongekyo Sharingan was for crowd control and bosses, although I feel like it's a little weird that it has nothing similar to what Sasuke's Mongekyo was like in the anime at all. Butterfly mode was fine. Now if you haven't noticed, there are a lot of clans that were left out of this update. Like Lee, Senju, Zetsu, Are You a Clan, and Hyuga's. I understand that Hyuga's got something before, but I think that one of the problems with this game is that having some clans start out with nothing while others had more, and then just like ignoring the clan for the next update just made it unbalanced when I feel like you should just progressively start to give more to each clan every single update. And I'm not gonna lie, Senju's, y'all been getting hoed for a while. I don't understand, but they have just never gotten their progression to this day. Could I have something to eat? No. Could I have something to eat? No. Can't you say anything else but no? Try asking again. Can I have something to eat? No. And that is the story of the game for a while. The clans that are, were not 5% often didn't get their progression, and that made a lot of people leave. And for some reason, like I said, Senju's literally like the opposite of Uchiha's, Hashirama Senju, you know, one of the goats of Naruto. That clan is a 22% clan, and they still have no progression. Are you a clan had purple lightning and a small lightning damage buff? I guess that's cool. I'm not gonna dev too deep into all the topics for the clans because. For one, I want this video to be a little bit shorter, and two, people have said what they've had to say about clans, so I don't need to reiterate it. Obviously, the lower percentage clans like Uchiha should be stronger than some of the clans because it's rare, but you should still be able to skill check some of them. Literally, if someone makes a build like Taijutsu, Earth, Fire, and Itachi EMS, no matter any circumstances, I don't care unless they're completely garbage, you are not beating them. There's things that were added just too early. Otsutsukis were added with a rare chakra fruit that gave you five chakra paths and made you an Otsutsuki. I don't understand why they're added because Otsutsukis were literally the end of Shippuden and mostly in Boruto. This game takes place before villages are even made. Aburama clan, when like I said, the beginning clans don't even have anything or what they do is just subpar. Another thing that was added way too early was Renegon. What the fuck? No! I don't know what made Arkham think it was such a good idea to add yet another dojutsu to the game, especially one so powerful this early when people were literally complaining that the game is too dojutsu based. And as far as I'm concerned, there was only four people in the show that had Renegon. But I will get back to that. After update 2 came out and a bunch of mini updates following, people were gaining some faith in the schedule for updates and for bloodlines. And then... Arkham posted this horrible message. With a Halloween update coming, an update 3 that will be coming in November with a whole new map to explore, things are looking up. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Y'all think those updates came out? And delete. 
the Halloween update didn't even drop on Halloween. Thanksgiving passed, I was out here eating with my family, and I checked my phone, it still ain't out. And then, whoa, a month later, and it's out. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man, what the fuck? And by this point, no one really cared because for some reason he combined that Halloween event with his weird winter event. So there's pumpkins around the map, but it's also snowy. And then there were new limited accessories like Raijin Kunai and stuff and one new area and that was it. Oh, and also a new trait, W I guess. And to this day, update three is nowhere to be found. Remember how I said I was gonna get back into the Rendagon topic? Well, yeah, randomly in December, I think December 6th, Arkham decided to drop a hint for the equation for Rendagon, which people found out literally instantly and then the next thing you know, you got everyone running around with Renegons, which makes Renegon not only too common, it made the PvP even more unskilled, but it just lost any hype. And so when I got Renegon myself, I just knew automatically, well, I basically beat the game, so there's no real reason for me to play it. All this ultimately culminated in the game's downfall, in my opinion, not nerfing what needs to be nerfed, like Taiju's broken hitboxes. has like 11 moves total if you count the modes and the m2 variations broken clan modes unbalanced elements like how earth and wind have a huge power gap hackers glitches along with arkham just not sticking to his release times and funnily enough when i made the script when i was making the script for this video arkham changed the game a, a little bit you know a little bit just just a pint and i'm not gonna call it an update because it's really not an update arkham's been working on heroes online too and i get that if you want to work on your game cool but i think he needs to understand then when you have a paid access game, your criticism is gonna be harsher, my guy. Again, like I said, it's not personal, bro. I'm just a little annoyed. And I feel like you should be able to understand why people are annoyed. So that's why I'm making this video. People spent hundreds of dollars on this game. Now, obviously, I shamelessly spent too much money for Uchiha. People spend their money how they want to spend it. But clearly, people are invested in this game. So if you're able to push them away from the game, maybe you should ask and be a little more understanding why people are bitter towards you when you are putting out these release times, they never come out and then you don't communicate with your community when that's literally the entire point of a Discord. And if you got personal stuff going on that stop you from updating, I'm sorry about that and I hope you can be able to deal with those things properly. That's understandable, but at least make a little paragraph saying, okay, such such and habits happening in my life. This is why these updates are taking longer. But if that's not the case, dude, at least say, yo, this is why the update is taking so long. Don't expect people to be chilling and then you don't update the game, you don't talk in the Discord, and then you'd be surprised people are bitter towards you, and then you drop a new mini update, and then say in the bottom, hey, if you don't like the game, the access right there. It's like, obviously the community isn't perfect, but don't act like there isn't a reason that there's only a small community of people playing the game, and that the other people that aren't playing the game, you're basically saying, hey, you can go and find the exit. It's like, dude, that's like someone going to pay to see me play in a basketball game, and I say I'm gonna drop 20 points, and then the next two games I go 0 for 12 and I'm bricking. game george and then this is what i say to the fans that are mad at me in my press conference yeah you the guy in black yeah hi z shot mark schwartz espn so uh z shot you were breaking you let your team down you're missing shots left and right you honestly look like you were doing a russell westbrook impersonation so what do you say to your fans that you let down to these past two games that's a great question mark i'm glad you asked that question so you see I can't explain why I was bricking, but what I can say is to the fans that were disappointed, honestly, you just need to suck it up, and if you don't want to see me brick my shots, you just leave the arena. But when there, there's hundreds and hundreds of constructive criticism on the game and suggestions, people made videos about the problems, and then, no, it's almost like the game just danced around the major problems that people kept pointing out. Anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. My question is to you, what do you think about Bloodlines? Comment down below, and whoever's comment I like the most, I'll shout out in the next video. Until then, peace out, have a good day. Arkham, please fix your game, at least before you ditch it. Bye.